what's up guys thank for watching this video i hope that you are going to enjoy it uh today's video we are gonna be talking about this guy uh this is my 5.5 v2 aos build that's what we're gonna be talking about i'll let you know what i think about it and uh, kind of all the stuff i use to put this done together so let's get started all right so let's see uh motor wise let's start with the motor I'm using a Zinc Power 2208 1800 KV. Pop uh, the Gemfen Pop, and those are 5536. Of course, I got my GoPro 8 on top. This is the perfect size drone for GoPro. Uh, VTX, I have the Freestyle from HT0, and I have the Round Cam HT0 V2. Uh, the stack you can't really see it from this side uh the stack uh mamba stack i got a f22 mk2 for the flight controller and i'm using the f4 4 in 1 esc and this is only 45 amp rated uh, i do have my own gopro mount that i designed and my antenna is held in the back uh this is uh i found this guy on uh, this antenna mod on Thingiverse and for the flights we're going to be using this battery Ovonic 1200 milliamp 120c uh, pretty good battery pretty cheap actually you can get them on eBay sometime for like 50 bucks for two batteries so let's get flying this is a complete new actually this is not it may be a new spot for you guys but I've flown here before uh, it's very nice spot. Ooh. I forgot about the issue with penetration when it comes down to HD0 as well as penetration than everybody else as far as DJI concerned. And I'm running at 1000 milliwatt, but but it's not too good on penetration. Woohoo, that was nice. So the drone fly good. It fly pretty good. I got no issue with that, 5.5. And according to Chris Hosser, uh, this is the perfect drone to deal with issues with a uh, heavy gopro since the run can session 5 has been, has been dc the community has adopted the gopro black and of course the problem with the gopro black is that with any new version there is a much higher weight now my gopro 8 i believe is about 130 gram the nine are uh, actually that yeah, yeah, didn't work as I wanted. The nine are actually even heavier than that. But yeah, guys, I always have a hard time talking and flying. But that's a good spot. You can see I got you got the little playground on here. Only problem, but this spot is that there is always people. I'm actually surprised there is nobody here. Just because of the playground, you got all these kids playing. But as far as gap and everything, I mean, this is a good spot. If you are much better flyer than me, this should be heaven for you. But I'm not that good of a player, so. Whoop. <laughs> well, the drone fly pretty good. 5.5. That's flat good. And I'm running a uh, beta fly 4.3. And I actually have uh, the UAV tech tune on this guy. That's a preset I use. That's pretty good dealing with uh, pop wash. I'm getting very little pop wash. Uh, really? fly pretty good 
But the only issue I have, like I told you guys, I don't have the V1. And the reason I never bought a V1, I went, really never really understood the point of this size. I understand it's supposed to be for AVA GoPro. But the thing is, as a hobby, we kind of have already deal with that. GoPro got heavier and people started building a lot of drone to deal with the heavy weight of the GoPro. Like I have my glide light and I run it with my GoPro 8 and this thing weighs way less than this guy. I'm going to post the weight of the glide and the weight of the V2 5.5. I think it was like a weight wise difference was about a hundred gram between the two of them. And I have to say that my glide does fly better. Let's see, my battery is already dead. Battery is, I mean, I get about four minutes flat time. Let me land and switch battery. All right, guys, so new battery in. Completely forgot my, what I was thinking about. Yes, 5.5. Uh, .5. uh not, never really understood the point of this drone, really. On paper, it makes sense. Uh, GoPro got heavier, so it was making sense for us to go to a slightly bigger pop in order to deal with the weight. But, and again, the hobby has kind of adapted to the heavier weight of the GoPro Black. We're building ladder five inch drone that kind of take care of the issue of the weight with the gopro as a result you got drone that are lighter and fly even better my glide light weight less than this guy fly better than this guy and overall as a longer flight time uh, you see, I'm using a 1200 milliamp hour battery, 6S on this guy. I'm getting about, usually I get about four minutes if I really go hard at it. Uh, with the glide, I use a 1000 milliamp and I actually get a longer flight time. I get about five minutes with the glide. Kind of being aggressive. I mean, aggressive to me, I'm not a very aggressive flyer. But kind of doing the same thing I'm doing now. And I uh, get a longer flight time. Now the drone itself, it does fly pretty good, I have to say. Maybe if I use a smaller motor, I may get a little more flight time. But uh, this, this is the motor Chris Husser recommended, recommended for this build and those models actually do pretty good i feel like they were very underrated the zinc pro very underrated motor they are pretty good motor uh, cheap motor but quality wise they are as good as any of the premium motor but uh this is i mean i enjoy this build it does have its flaws since flat time is not the greatest and of course i'm using 5.5 props the gem 55 36. i could get slightly longer time if i use smaller props you can use 5.1 or 5.2 even five inch prop is up to you guys but it, to me this didn't make sense to use a 5.5 AOS V2 to have 5 inch props. If you want to have 5 inch props, you can just buy the AOS 5. But that is pretty much it, I have to say. I mean, it is a good drone. You can see it's flying pretty good. But in the same time, I don't understand why you need to go to 5.5. You can get yourself 
a ladder build on a 5 inch that should take care of your GoPro weight, GoPro 10 and if you look on YouTube there is plenty of video of people using 5 inch with GoPro 10 and they actually fly pretty good so that was my two cents on a 5.5 pretty good frame, pretty good drone, pretty good build uh, V2 I'm not really sure how much difference there is between the V2 and V1 as far as flag goes but I just started to see me sitting in a room and telling you what I think of this drone uh, take it out you can see some of my flying some of my cropping flying believe me guys I fly much better than this it's just I cannot fly and talk and think in the same time but that's pretty much it for this video I uh, will see you on the next one guys